The Aral Sea straddles the border between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in Central Asia. Fed by the waters of two major Central Asian rivers, the Amu Darya to the south and the Sur Darya to the east, the Aral Sea was once the world's fourth largest inland sea. To its south, the banks of the Amu Darya are lined with agriculture fed by irrigation canals like these. Large areas of irrigation were developed on both rivers in the 1960s, diverting much of the Aral Sea's inflow to grow cotton, melons, and cereal grains. Irrigation like this created a deficit of water flowing into the sea. Irrigation continued to expand along both rivers throughout the 1970s and 80s, the water balance for the Aral Sea averaging a negative 30 cubic kilometers per year during this time. This led to a dramatic shrinking of the lake beginning in the 1960s and continuing today. A dike built in 2005 keeps Sir Darya River waters from flowing into the southern or large Aral Sea and has led to a significant recovery of the northern or small Aral Sea, even though the larger sea is being lost. In the 1960s, the Aral Sea covered over 66,000 square kilometers of Central Asia, supporting a large fishery, considerable shipping, and influencing the local climate. By 1987, about 60 percent of the Aral Sea's volume had been lost. Its depth had declined by 14 meters, and its salt concentration had doubled, killing the commercial fishing trade. Wind storms became toxic, carrying fine grains of clay and salts deposited on exposed sea floor. Life expectancies in the districts near the sea are significantly lower than in the surrounding areas. The sea is now a quarter of the size it was 50 years ago, has broken into two parts, the small Aral Sea in the north and the large Aral Sea to the south. Without dramatic measures, the southern sea may soon become two smaller bodies of water and may completely dry up in the coming decades.